Hello everyone. We're going to be making air freshies today. Little how to step by step and we'll be using Feel and Fly a new fragrance company that I totally endorse because the lady that owns it, her name is Sarah and she's my cousin. And you guys like kooky me. She's a twin. She's a twin. So say hi. Make sure I can see comments. I'm going to go over here on the computer and see if I can't um, share with her group. Also give some people a chance to join. All right. Um, no. Well, hopefully Sarah can add it to her group. Hey, Monique. Happy late birthday, girl. Okay, I do not. So hopefully my cousin shares it to her group. All right, you guys, I am going to flip the camera down and start showing you what I do. All righty. This puppy switched around. Alrighty. I'm gonna move my mold out of the way because first I'm gonna show you how to mix them up. You are so welcome, girl. I hope you had an amazing birthday. Okay, these are aroma beads. I got these ones from Buy It Ship It. And I do not remember how much I paid. I want to say 40 something. But the key with this, oh, I already have a cup in there. I can get that out of the way. Is time. These are not a quick thing that will get done. Because you have to let the fragrance oil soak for at least a week. Um, I try to let mine soak um, two to three weeks. And I have even forgot about some. <laughs> and I found them on the shelf and I know they were over a year old and I still used them and they still had scent in them too. Okay, we're going to do three fragrances. Hey, Sarah. I'm so happy to see you. And then Sarah. She's here too. The other Sarah. My Sarahs are here. Sarah, I couldn't figure out how to share to your group. So if you see a little doohickey button to share to feel and fly, please do it. Otherwise, I'll save the video and I'll just post it in the group. And I don't measure this out. Usually when I make the freshies, um, I, do, I do big batches of them. And I could have done this before and saved you guys all the boringness, but what's the fun in that? <laughs> Alicia, how are you, girl? Oh my goodness. Everyone excited? It's Friday. I think if I don't mess this up, I'm just going to pour the rest of this bag in there. Hope I don't go flying everywhere. All right. So I picked out Yes, girl. I picked out this one. When I first smelt it, I was like, uh, I don't know. Then I kept smelling it. I freaking love it. Tasha, hi, girl. So it smells like a manly man's man, man, man. And I love manly scents. Mm hmm. So if you like Axe. Now with, with these um, freshies, and if I call them smelly jellies, sorry, you guys. Um, with the freshies, since it's not going on your skin, you don't have to worry about how much you add. 
And these puppies are strong. So I'm going to add about an ounce. These are sold in two ounce bottles. You can do multiple, multiple things with them. Like two ounces is gonna last a really long time. <laughs> I have so many. And see, look how much is in there. I like super strong fragrance. Like when it comes to soap, um, I do the maximum limit. When it comes to these, I want them to last in people's cars for like six months. So I like to do it extra strong. And you can hang them around your house too. Okay, that one. I need to write on there with a Sharpie what it is. But I'm right now, I'm going to just put the jar next to it so I can do this after. Okay, another one you cannot go wrong, bubble gum. It smells like Bazooka Joe, an old-fashioned, like, bubble gum from when I was a kid. Um, so if you like that smell, like the winter green and mixed, oh, uh, yeah, um, it's amazing. Now this, I don't have as many beads in, so I'm probably gonna do half an ounce. All right, putting that one off to the side. And, okay, monkey farts. Monkey farts is popular no matter what you make with it because as soon as people see the name, they want to know what the heck monkey farts smell like. Um, monkey farts are amazing. They smell like fruit and bananas. So I will take a monkey fart any day. And even though you guys cannot smell through the phone, I still have to lift it up and smell for myself because I, I love it. Again, probably about a half an ounce for this one because this one didn't have as many beads. And these are safe for your skin too. So if you wanna make soap, or if it gets on your skin, don't stress. You will just be smelling this like for throughout the day. Even if you wash your hands, I bet you can still kind of smell it. All right, so there we are. Let sit for one to three weeks before you use them. Now, before I got all my goodies, I mixed up a different batch. So these have been sitting, I wanna say for two months because I get busy and I don't get back to stuff because I made a whole bunch, but these are ready to go. And once in a while, I'll just walk past them, mix them probably, I don't know, three or four times a week. Yes, you need monkey farts. Okay, you guys, the final product. What we're going to do, we're going to color these. Um, obviously, you don't need fragrance. The fragrance is in there. Then we're going to put them in some molds. I prefer silicone. When I first started, I used uh, metal cookie cutters. They never stuck. I don't know if it's the new product I'm using, but now they stick to the metal cookie cutters. Um, so I'm not using cookie cutters anymore. And I want to show you this dude real quick. So for the back of him, I used one of these and this just fits right into your vent. You connect it right into your vent of your car. Um, this was Sarah's idea and her idea was brilliant and Flip and worked so much. So I love that idea. We'll be doing that today. Um, another thing is a lot of people that make these freshies, what they will do is they will put um, a nail down. So that way they have a hole to go through to make it all fancy. Well, I knock the nail down. I'm clumsy. You guys know, like my hands don't, they're not still hands. So... All I do, I pour it straight in there and then I drill a hole and that makes it easier for me, you know, so you can choose what you want to do on that. And then these are bracelets off Amazon. So you have 
your, your different options of how you want to present. So this you can hang off the rear view mirror and this you can clip to the, to the vent. Alrighty. So I got some separate bags. Because I want to do a couple different colors. Now, if you want this bag to be all like one color, then um, then you can mix mic it in right now. But I'm going to do a couple different colors. All right. So what did I grab? I just grabbed some random colors. Um, Wicked Witch. I think she's going to be so pretty. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Ashley. And I will save it if you guys just joined. I should use a popsicle stick, but I'm not. So tap a tap a a little bit. Ooh, I'm going to use too much. A little, little tiny bit. These will get coated so easily. And you don't want them too, like, too much of the pigment because it just makes them powdery. And again, mix a, mix a, mix a. Kristen, I sell, um, well, I sell the micas. I've been working on the freshy beads for six months. It is so difficult, but hopefully one day I will have freshy beads, blank ones for you guys. And then Sarah, um, she sells the fragrance oils, Feel and Fly. And Sarah, go ahead and link your website or your group or whatever you want to link, girl. Okay. I thought I added too much, but I did not. Oh, I got a little... paintbrush I'll use. That's not very good. I shouldn't be so lazy and just walk five feet to get my popsicle stick. And I also recommend deep molds because you kind of want these guys thicker. So it does take a little work. I should have done majority of this before the live. All right, and what I do to make my life easier, I just cut this part. That way I can just pour them right in. So I think we will do, <coughs> excuse me, an owl and a trucker lady. They are so easy, you guys, and they're really relaxing and calm to make. Now, these ones are a little bit trickier, so hopefully my head doesn't get in the way as I'm focusing. Gotta kinda see if I can't these molds are super thick. These molds are from Bear Mountain Designs too. So for that other part of the supplies, Bear Mountain Designs. She has millions of molds. So her little hair is fine. Making a tiny mess. I haven't full on Aaron Toretted out yet. But I'm sure it's coming. I can feel it. Kind of tap it down. 
make sure her little tootsie toe is covered. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm so concentrating, so I'm missing if you're asking me anything. Okay. Now she is ready. We'll do another color. This one, no, I, I cheated on her. Don't, don't tell her, but I, I did cheat on her. I found these. And it had a squirrel, and I lost my flipping brains. What am I doing? Okay. Making up another color. Now, Miss Susanna makes these, too. But in true fashion, she details every little part of this. She will take a piece of paper, make one section a color, make another section a color, make another section a color. She's flipping amazing at this and makes them look so elegant. I, however, do not have that patience. At least not today. <clears throat> so... <laughs> I'm not going to do that today. Oh, what other micas did I grab? So I grabbed a new chameleon, cooler than me. I am going to add this. I should have grabbed bigger Ziploc bags. So I want to do one like this, and then I'm going to find my black mica, and then add black mica to this and to show the chameleon effect, because you can use chameleons and have them do their little color shifty in this. Um, I have not added glitter yet, Ashley. I think you could. We can try. We can definitely try. Okay, so there's that. Let me grab my black mica. Uh, nope, that's not black. I should have been prepared. Let me see if it's over here. And while I'm over here, I will grab some popsicle sticks. Um, oh, yay. I get excited when I find stuff where I think I know it's at. Now it's like pink and purple. Oh, so there you go. Thanks, Sequoia. I think I'm gonna try to do my little handsome man. He's a little bit easier because he's got a big old booty and gut. Just the way I like him. And stretch that out to make sure it's in his little paw. Those little tootsies. All right, there he is. Do this one little hedgehog. Hedgehogs are adorable. All right. Another color. Are you guys bored yet with me? Oh, sorry. Thank you, Sarah. Sorry if I'm missing. All right. Let me find another color over here. 
Since it's right there, we will do Juniper. Oh, you can't see very well. My, my lighting is not good. Oh, thanks, Tasha. I think I'll start there. I also like the bag full of air. It seems to spread it easier. This is going to smell amazing. And these will be shiny too. Especially like Tasha's mold. Since the mold is shiny, the dude came out shiny. Um, this one too, this is a soap mold. So if you're mold, like this is a shiny mold, so I think it will come out shiny. Why well, no, it will not think. Hopefully my face is up underneath the camera. Just mouth breathing, trying to pour this in. <laughs> All right. We got one more. Let's do one more color. See what else I can grab. I think for funsies, I can also, can I find a glitter? Let's see. No. I, let's see. No, I can't grab a glitter right now. Otherwise I would try it, but Right on the side of me is a whole bunch of boxes full of cool stuff. I can go, let me, oh, what is that? That might be glitter over there. It's chunky though, so we'll see. Um, I'm just not paying attention. I got so excited. I'm going to go ahead and do this ahead because I think I did spot glitter out of the corner of my eye. Ooh, and it'll be a good color combo. Do a little bit more. This is Glow Maui. Have this puppy glow in the dark. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the glow. Okay, perfect. So it's not super chunky, but it's still considered a chunky glitter. Hallow's Eve from Southern Bell. I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> and we'll just see how this turns out. I won't make you guys wait because I usually cook these. Ooh, I put way too much um, for 20 minutes, but I will post pictures after. The glitter is sinking. So we'll see how it works. So I got these ones from buy it, ship it. Hopefully we get it. So the glitter comes out. Yeah, I bet it would be a lot easier if um, you used a really fine glitter. Because right now it's sinking to the bottom. Ooh, this stuff feels so silky. It's really nice glitter. I'm just going to do that and test it and see what happens. I love silky glitter. If you guys work with glitter, you know what I'm talking about, that texture. Um, yeah, he stays there forever because this will end horribly if I try to get one thing out. Yes. So like not clearish. I haven't ever just not put a color in because that's part of the fun is doing the color. But it would be an off white. Kind of like that. And so again, you can bake them now and then drill holes to put your little bracelets through. You can also do necklaces. The necklaces are just obviously a little bit longer or you can use these puppies. Um, I found them on Amazon. Sarah might 
uh, was it car freshener clip? And I will go grab another experiment um, that I tried right before I went live. And then I'll tell you, because I can't think off the top of my head what temperature you bake. So, and then take into effect of which way most people's uh, vents in their car are if you use these. Some are to the side like this, and then some are like that. Right now I'm trying to picture my own car, and I believe my own car is like that. So I just, this is so easy, you guys. This is, this saves you so much time. But, you know, it's just whatever your little heart desires. All right, getting these. I'm going to do that one to the side. Um, I'm going to do her the same way. All right. Get these. Okay, I'm going to go grab my experiment and see if that worked. And otherwise, I can share that with you too. So hold on. All right, so actually, I lied with my experiment. They um, they are they did turn out completely clear, except for on the bottom. Now, this puppy is going to be hot. 275, 20 minutes, you guys. You guys okay? Okay, sorry, my kids just walked in, and they're staring like little deers in headlights. Oh, it's not ready. So my experiment, what I'm hoping will work is I painted the mold. I didn't do the freshies, but I painted the mold. And I'm hoping when I pop this puppy out that it's a whole bunch of different color greens because then I can do that. That's more, that's easier for me to do than to do the pieces of paper and make them different colors. So... Yeah, it's still, it's still too much. Otherwise, I would show you, but I am going to bake those in my, my handsome couple, and I'll post pictures. Sarah, did you say it? Okay, so feel and fly, scents. How many different types do you have, Sarah? I cannot remember right now how many types you have. I am just a spoiled brat, and I got all of them, so I get to play. Monkey farts, bubble gum, um, the axe, uh, root beer. Oh my God, root beer is to die for. Uh, <laughs> let's see. She is so extra. <laughs> uh, I can't think. Oh, there's a sage one I love. Agave. 275 Abbey, 20 minutes. And you'll be able to tell, like, if you, I mean, use common sense, but if you bake it for 20 minutes and you notice it's not breaking down, you kind of give it a little touch, then just bake it a little bit longer. That's what's hard for, you know, we all have different ovens. I'm using a little, uh, uh, what are those, toaster oven that I have in the next room. Um, I have used my regular oven. I just, I... Didn't want to walk back and forth from the shop to the house when I'm making these. So that's why I did that. And I found you find them at garage sales all the time. Goodwill for five bucks. And I'm all about cheap. Got to be cheap so I can spend all my good money on top quality supplies for you guys. <laughs> good job. Thank you. Yes, you guys, I'm saving this video, so if you have lots of questions or you didn't see the start of it, um, rewatch it. And yeah, happy to do a live with you guys. Um, I will get back to you.
one or two hours after these have set up. You're the best, Angela. All right, you guys. Happy Friday, and I'll be posting soon. Bye, guys.